and for Mr. Fabius and, or, or, or Ban Ki-moon, either one of the two of you, because it's the day of the election in Burundi, I have to ask this. Wh where does it stand between the international community and an election that's taking place without AU observers, with grenades being thrown? Wh what can be done? What's the next step forward? Thank you. Let, let me uh, briefly answer uh, to your question about the current situation in Burundi. Uh, even yesterday, all day long, I have been uh, speaking to uh, some African leaders in the region, including President Kikwete of Tanzania, who is acting as uh, president of um, East, uh, East African community. And I have also spoken to uh, AU chairperson Madam Zuma, as well as uh, President Zuma of South Africa. Uh, they are the leaders who have been uh, constantly uh, engaging in this. Uh, I have been expressing my serious concern that uh, while all the opposition political parties have uh, boycotted, and even the uh, vice president and parliamentary speakers, uh, they have all condemned uh, and criticized the President Nkurunziza and left their countries because of their uh, serious concern. Uh, we, while uh, UNDP and United Nations has um, withdrawn our, uh, the, our support, electoral support there, uh, well it, our United Nations observation team is now observing uh, this election uh, process. Now it seems that election has been uh, continuing. I reiterate my appeal to all Burundian political leaders to consider the wider interest of people of their country and to resolve uh, political issues uh, through dialogue in order to preserve peace and strengthen uh, national reconciliation. Uh, and I also emphasize the responsibility of the government of Burundi uh, to ensure that elections take place in a secure environment uh, and also to guarantee the safety and security of UN observers uh, so that they can perform their mandated responsibilities uh, free from intimidation or harassment. It is mandated by the Security Council. Uh, this is uh, something which I can tell you at this time. I'm very closely uh, observing and watching and uh, coordinating and consulting with African leaders. So thank you. Thank you very much. This concludes our media stakeout. Thank Merci you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.